Assalamualaikum everyone. Welcome to my brand new video. Today I am going to tell you about how you will construct the time series model. Basically, I will try to explain you step by step from unit root to cointegration to construct a regression model. So, I will try to explain you in details. Most of us know about how to run the unit root test or how to run cointegration test separately. But we don't know about the steps like uh, if uh, the data set are non-stationary what we need to do which types of test is best fit for which kinds of uh, model so i'll try to explain in details so i hope this video would be very helpful for you so let's get started so here you can see that my data set are from 2001 to 2020 and there are basically three variables gdp import and export so first of all we need to declare the data set as time series data so this is our first step to run the model in stata so to uh, declare the data set as time series we need to go to statistics then you need to go to time series setup and utilities declare data set to be time series data then you have to select here time variable here my time variable is year and here you need to select if your data are yearly data or yearly data or daily data you need to select that as my data set are yearly data and i'll select that then i'll click ok so the data set has been declared as time series data so the first step is done after that we need to conduct unit root test so we basically uh, run unit root test to find out if the data set are stationary at level or stationary at first difference uh, so for conducting any kinds of study the data set need to be stationary so to find out at which level the data set are stationary we conduct unit root test there are different kinds of unit root test like augmented dickey fuller test philip parent test dfgls test the first two is the most popular time series unit root test uh, for conducting a study you have to run at least two unit root test you can run more than two unit root test basically i will conduct the augmented dickey fuller test then i will cross check the result with the flip parent test you need to cross check the result uh, so you have to conduct the unit root test of all of your variables like there are three variables of uh, my study so i need to conduct the unit root test of all the three variables separately and i need to find out at which level the variables data set are stationary so uh, we need to go to statistics then we need to go to time series then tests then augmented dickey fuller unit root test you have to click on this then here you have to select your variable here my i will first conduct the unit root of uh, of gdp so here also the three options you can select that uh, first one is suppress constant term include a uh, train term or include drift term you can cross check with uh, selecting on by on and here you have to select the lag difference on always so first of all i'll select the suppress constant term so i'll click on submit so here the result of augmented dickey fuller test here the null hypothesis is that there is unit root and the alternative hypothesis is the data set are stationary so they, this is the ts statistics value if the ts statistics value is less than five percent or one percent critical value then we, we cannot reject the null hypothesis in most of the study we basically consider the five percent critical value so i will consider here also the five percent critical value as here the ts statistics value is less than five percent critical value uh, irrespective of any sign that means we can we can ignore the plus sign or minus sign we need to find that if the absolute value of ts statistics is less than absolute value of five percent critical value uh, or not 
as here the t statistics absolute value is less than 5% critical value we cannot reject the null hypothesis and the null hypothesis is there is unit root that means in this case the gdp data is not stationary at level so now we, uh, we need to run another on option uh, to cross check if we include the trend if it is stationary at level or not so after that we will click submit here again you can see that t statistic value is less than 5% critical value that means if we include the time train then at that time also the uh, gdp data is not stationary at level uh, as the var gdp variable is not stationary at level uh, the next step is you have to uh, generate fast difference variable of gdp so to create the fast difference variable of gdp you have to write the command generate space your new variable name equal to d dot your original variable name here like i will write here g e n e r a t e space give a new variable name d gdp equal to uh, i have to write d dot my previous variable name that is gdp gdp so uh, here you can see that my first difference variable of gdp has been created here you can see my first difference variable of gdp now we need to conduct again the test uh, to find out if the first difference of gdp is stationary or not so for this we need to again go here, there and then to select here variable dgdp and uh, we will select first uh, the suppress constant term then we will select the train term so if we select the suppress constant term for first difference of gdp and click on submit we can see that uh, the t statistics value is greater than 5% critical value irrespective of any sign so here we can reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis is the data set is stationary that means the the gdp data is not stationary at level but the gdp data of, of fast difference is stationary that means the gdp is stationary at fast difference now you can cross check the result by selecting include time trend so what we have found that the gdp data is not stationary at level but it is stationary at fast difference according to our augmented dk fuller test now we will conduct the philip perron test uh, to find out if our result is uh, consistent with uh, the philip now we will conduct now, now we will conduct the Philip Perron test to cross check the result of augmented Dickey Fuller test. So for this we need to go to statistics, then we need to go to time series, then tests, then Philip Perron unit root test. So here I have to select the variable GDP, then I have to select here again the number of lag on then there is also two options suppress constant term and include time drain first i will conduct with suppress constant term and i will click on submit so here you can again see that the t statistics value is less than the five percent critical value that means according to philip perron test also the gdp data is not stationary at level so if now we conduct with include time trend we can see that uh, the result is also consistent that uh, if we include the time trend also the gdp data is not stationary at level uh, that means the uh, the t statistics value is less than five percent value so after that uh, we need to again conduct with the fast difference or uh, with the philip perron unit root test and we will select here the suppress constant term first then we will click submit here we can see that the absolute t statistics value is greater than the 5% critical value 
that means we can reject the null hypothesis and we can accept the alternative hypothesis the alternative hypothesis is the data set are stationary so according to philip baron test also the data set are stationary at first difference and now if we select the include time trend and submit we can again see that uh, the t statistics value is greater than 5% critical value so the parent uh, unit to test result is consistent with the augmented dickey fuller test so we have uh, found the conclusion that gdp is not stationary at level but it is stationary at fast difference then according to this procedure we need to run the unit root test of import data and export data and we need to find out at which level they are stationary so after conducting this unit root test uh, the uh, next step is we need to find out the optimum lag so optimum lag selection uh, is uh, necessary in this case because we in the case of time series we assume that present day year data are some extent is influenced by the previous year data so before conducting the co-integration test we need to run optimum lag selection so for this the command is varsoc space dependent variable then independent variable if you first give the independent variable then and then dependent variable then it will influence the result so for this you have to write here first the dependent variable then the independent variable as you will run the regression later the regressions dependent variable here you have to give that if we go to the stata then we have to write here varsoc space my dependent variable is gdp and my independent variables are import and export and we have to uh, press enter here you can see that according to the selection order criteria here according to lr criteria aic hqic according to all selection criteria the optimum lag has been selected lag 4 so now if uh, you in your study uh, if the result is like that that some of the criteria has selected lag on and some criteria has selected lag four so you have to select the smaller on lag on at that time my study all the criteria has said that lag 4 is optimum but if in your study the ester side has been given on according to lr in uh, lag on and according to ac aic and lag on and others on lag 4 you have to select the smaller uh, lag that means lag on because the smaller the lag value the greater will be the accuracy of result so i have found my optimum lag for the model so next step is to run co-integration test so basically we conduct the co-integration test to find out if there is long run relationship among variables or not as the video would be more lengthy if i discuss all other processes like co-integration multicollinearity regression uh, so i will explain those things uh, in my following videos so keep with my channel in my next video i will explain rest of the processes